Oh, is it off? Yes. Okay. Okay. Am I on? Yes. Okay. Good. Praise God. Can you can you all hear me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Amen. Yeah. And uh, where we honor God, love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God. And we have a passion for whole souls, you know. And every one of us, if you don't know, if you know Jesus, you know that you have been called to be a minister of reconciliation. That means bringing people, bringing souls into the kingdom of God. If you're not doing that, it's time that you spend time with him and get yourself all excited. We're going to be talking about being used by God. Amen. He wants to use you, but some of us, we're not answering, okay? <laughs> we need to. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just want to welcome uh, our NBC family, all visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. So yeah. prepare yourselves to receive. God is something for you. If you have uh, too much going on your head and your mind, you know, just let it all go. And let's focus on what God wants to say to you right now. He's speaking to you, you know. He's speaking to you. So receive it. Amen. And say, Amen, I want to do something like this. Lord, I want to change my life. Amen. I want to. I, I want to be different. I want to be like you. Amen. And he wants you. And he makes you. And you know what? He put you here to be a winner. He didn't put you here to be a loser. He put you here to win. But we're losing because we get away from him. Just like the prodigal son. We just run from God. You know, until, until it's time to come home. We all need to come home. Amen. I don't need these right here. Anyway, so prepare yourself. This is what God wants to do. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us. Amen. And he corrects us through his word. But you gotta get in the word. You gotta get in the word. You know, the the, the, the world wants to punish you. They want to beat you, man, you know, on a daily basis. They want to defeat you. They want to disqualify you. They hate you. I mean, all you hear is negative stuff. You know, I gotta renew my mind. I gotta renew myself. I gotta empower myself with the word of God. In order to go out into the world. Because I don't want them to bring me down. I've got some readings here. I want to read it at you right quick. It goes something like this. Listen. Don't let your past. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Don't let your past people or their mouth stop the destiny that God has for you. He's got a destiny for you. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. Yes. But you got to get in tune with him, you know, yeah. and get your power from him so that you can go out and do what he wants you to do. Yeah. Amen. And you can do all things through him. Yeah. Don't let someone who gave up on their dream talk you out of yours. That's it. Be careful what you listen to. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute. Renew your mind with the word of God. Don't let somebody take your dream from you. You know who gave you those dreams? God. He did. Mm -hmm. He gifted you to win. And Lord, I want to dedicate these gifts back to you and i'm going to do this unto you amen and you're going to succeed and not lose amen praise god and listen to this i've said it many times but i say it this way don't let people pull you into their problem no. don't let people pull you into their storms there's yeah. lots of storms of lives out there mm -hmm. don't let people pull you into their storm you pull them into your peace amen. but you got to have the peace with you you got to have the prince of peace with you in order to take what they've got and say, I don't receive that. Mm -hmm. I don't. You don't have to receive it. Just let it go. That's it's it. not for you. It's not for me. Mm -hmm. Don't take it. So we're going to be talking about being used by God. Mm -hmm. He didn't put you here just to be nice, nice, cozy and lazy. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he put you here to be winners. He says, when you confess Him as your Lord and Savior, He said, you're a new creature in Christ. St. Corinthians 5.17. You're a new creature in Christ. He says the old is gone and the new is, is now. That means you had a spiritual birth. You're born again. So it's time to get busy for him. Amen. <laughs> Where some of us are still sitting down doing nothing. We need to get busy for him. Because he wants to use every one of us. If you're not being used, it's not his fault. It's our fault. Because a lot of us, we just want to. Be comfy. Well, I worked all week, so I work. Uh, I, I, I sleep and I and I rest the weekends. I work all week too. I work Monday through Sunday, <laughs> all the time. If you haven't seen me, I'll be doing that and doing the pastoring too. 
Amen. But I do everything unto the Lord. And we're going to talk about that. I'll give you some scripture. I'll give you what the Word of God says mm -hmm. so that you can empower yourself. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Well, nobody's watching you, so I can't show off right now. But God's watching you. God's watching you. Amen. <laughs> Praise God, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Before we go any further, grab your Bibles and uh, let's make this declaration together. I have my Bible. Where's yours? Grab your Bible and let's leave this to the declaration together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It says, I have what it says I have. And I can do what it says I can do. But you know, you, you got to get it in you. If you go to a new job, they're going to give you things to do. They're going to let you know what your responsibilities are. Uh -huh. And you got to go through them. I say, man, I need, I need to know when my time is off. When's my time's off? When's my days off? You're going to get to it. And you want to know if you're covered medically. You want to know if you what what pertains to you. But you also going to find out what your job responsibilities are. Yeah. All of God's promises are in His Word. We got to go in and get it out. If you ain't getting it, it's because you're not opening it. You got to get open it up and get in it. And you got to use the Word <clears throat> against the enemy. <coughs> Excuse me. The Bible says, "Submit yourself to God." Resist the enemy and he'll flee from you. Yeah. Resist means take authority. <clears throat> the enemy is not going to stop bugging you. That's it. Even if you're a Christian. Well, I'm a Christian now, so the enemy is going to stop bugging me. Uh -huh. No, he's going to come harder on you. But you got the nose to say, I submit myself to God. I'm taking authority. I've been given authority. I take authority over you. I resist you. And he's, the Bible says he'll flee. He'll run from you. Yeah. But you got to do it. How many times you got to do it? As many times it takes. Yeah, yeah. You know, just get that booger out from you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. We're going to have fun too. So, this is what the Lord says. Be being used by God. So, he wants to use you. You're special to him. He knows you. He knows you better than anybody else. And he knows all the bad about you. Mm -hmm. And he knows all the good about you. Mm -hmm. And loves you better than anybody else. That's it. Amen. So don't put the blame on him. That's and it. don't take time off. I, I had a slide and I didn't bring it. But it says if you had a job with the church, would you still be employed? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Let it sink in. Let it sink in, you know. Oh, they will do whatever it takes for the job, you know. And we'll go and, man, we'll sacrifice. They call you up. Whatever, man, we run there all the time. And Mary and Martha, remember? Martha was super busy. And J Jesus was there. Mary knew and saw Jesus. She came to minister and serve him. Now, Martha, man, I'm busy for the world. I don't care if the Savior is here. So let's not give all those things up for our Savior. Spend time with Him. And we're going to talk about priorities. So my priority first should be Him first. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> be used by God. It says, God wants to use you now. God wants to use you on a daily basis. God, are you available to serve Him? And if you're going to serve Him, serve Him with passion. We're going to, I have some definitions here for you I want, I want to read to you. <clears throat> but to be empowered we're talking about the Bible and I wrote Bible on here and we used to teach children for many years and we used to teach them this the Bible how about the Bible the Bible is basic instruction before leaving the earth we want to know that these are basic instructions before we leave earth and we're going to leave earth you know if you have Jesus we're, we're not gonna stay here. This is not my home. I'm just we're just passing through. <laughs> God's not looking for perfection. <clears throat> if you read some of these stories, there's a lot of stories in the Bible. If you read about these Bible heroes you hear about, none of them was perfect. But God used them anyway. That's right. If you go somewhere or if you 
a brother so and so or sister holy so and so <laughs> tells you that you're not good enough right. that God can't use you anymore because of whatever mm. that's a lie you yeah. say you have scripture you want to show me oh no no I just heard somebody say so I heard it mm. yeah you heard it but do you have scripture to it mm -hmm. oh no I don't have scripture for it but they, you know what you just throw it in the delete it yeah. <laughs> put it in the trash God's not looking for perfection. He's not looking for people that seem to have it all together. Man, I want to be around brother or sister. Man, they got it all together. He's not looking for that. Amen. He's looking for those who are available. He's looking for those that are faithful. He's looking for those that are committed. And I'll give you some definitions here. Available means are you obtainable? Are you reachable? Are you accessible? He's knocking. Oh, it's Jesus again. Don't open the door. Don't answer the phone. <laughs> Come right me, says Jesus. I say, no, no, no. Don't get it. Don't get it. Faithful, being loyal, being reliable, being committed, being dependable. Oh, it's you, Jesus. Yay, I'm excited. What can I do? That's the way we should be. And committed is this. Are you dedicated? Are you loyal? Are you devoted? And are you faithful? We need, we need to practice these mm -hmm. things. And you know, the more you get worried to get in you, the more you learn these things. Amen? And here's one that we use in many other ways, except the way God wants us to use them. Have passion. What is passion to you? Mm -hmm. Well, listen to this. I'll give you a few definitions here. Passion is to be hungry for more of Him. To be thirsty for more of Him. To be enthusiastic excited you know jesus had a choice when father says i'm going to send you to sacrifice you to get my people back he didn't have a fit he was excited about doing it he came amen we should be excited we should be uh enthusiastic we should be zealous in doing these things man i'm excited about this and some of us are real excited about doing things but are they magnifying God? Mm. Or is it just for you? Or if it's just to impress somebody else? Mm -hmm. We make ourselves available to everyone in anything but God. Come on. All right. <laughs> we try to impress. We try to amaze. We try to affect, excite, influence, or sway someone but God. Amen. Is this a good, it's a good, it's a good message? I need it. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> you <think it>. Amen. <laughs> We're trying to impress, you know, and it's a lot of things I I'm not just want to talk about me, but a lot of things I do and nobody's around and nobody's watching except him. And Lord, I'm doing this under you. Even if it was a crowd of people, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. Because people see you that doing good things. Uh -huh. Now most of them ain't gonna say nothing because they're jealous, say, man, well he's doing it wrong. Or you know, I could do that. Come on now. Listen to this. Be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Because a lot of people do this. They want to please. You know why? Because they want to impress. Because they want a promotion. Or they want to just get in the door. Amen. Come on. Put God first. And you will reap the rewards. Right. Amen. And we've heard this so many times, but magnify him, yeah. not any anyone or anything or any problem. Most of us magnify our problem more than we magnify him. Right. We gotta get that straight. Mm -hmm. Jesus went to the cross to pay for all these things. Yeah. So we can Lord, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Before we go say, Oh man, magnify the problem first. No. Let's not do that. What we have to do is correct it. How do we correct it? getting in the word and confessing what the word of God says. I do have some, uh, Wednesday, some of you were here Wednesday we've been talking about power in your words. Mm -hmm. and I have a, a long list of say so. Mm -hmm. We got to say so. We got to say what the word of God says. It says this daily, say, daily says let your say so be according to God's word. Daily send your words out in a new direction. Mm -hmm. Get in the habit of making positive confessions 
over your life. Daily make a choice to change your say so. Yes. I used to say this. I don't say that anymore. I want to say what the Word of God says. Listen. I've heard this. You're no good. You'll never amount to anything. You can't do that. You're not good enough. And we've been down pressed so long. Forever. And you know what? It stays there. The battlefield is the mind. And you can think these things and remember these things forever. Why well, get involved? No, nah, that's okay. I said, uh, they told me I'm no good for anything. You're disqualifying yourself, listening to what you say so should be. I'm blessed. I'm committed. I'm faithful. I'm an overcomer. I'm a yes. winner. I'm a champion. I'm healthy. Yeah. Amen. I mean, the list is long. We have, these are handouts that you can take and confess these things. Post them somewhere. You know, hey, I got cowboy schedule. Every year I got the cowboy schedule. Yeah. I got schedules for all sporting events you can, you can name. Oh, my goodness. Why can't I post my mm -hmm. say so's where I can see them and confess them? Mm hmm. I'm creative. Amen. I'm focused. I'm attractive. I'm valuable. I can do all things through Christ. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You confess these things over yourself. And not what the word what, what the world says. And not what you've heard before that's mm -hmm. beat you down and depressed you. Mm -hmm. Get those things. That's not what God put you here. And that's not what not the way he sees you. That's right. He sees you this way. And that's what he wants you to say. Yeah. What, amen. But you gotta go go in the word and, and get it in you. When you begin to say God's say so, your life will never be the same. God will bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Mm -hmm. So get ready for God to do the impossible in your life. With him, all things are possible. Yes. Amen. So but I gotta make I gotta make the change. I gotta I have to start somewhere. Yes. And I need to start doing these things, you know. Hey, a baby learned how to crawl, mm -hmm. then learn how to walk. Mm -hmm. One step at a time. Mm -hmm. One word at a time. You don't have to learn it all at one time. Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't just read the Bible through one time and say, Hey, I read the Bible through. How much of the Bible do you have in you? Mm -hmm. How much of the word is in you mm -hmm. to speak out? It's the word, spoken word, mm -hmm. amen, that the enemy don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. When you start speaking the word, <laughs> enemy is going to say adios. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. Old friends, old friends are going to go by the wayside. Oh, yeah. And God's going to bring new friends around you. Mm -hmm. You're a new creature in Christ. Old is gone, new is in. Yes. Amen. So magnify him first. In Matthew 6, 33 and 34 says this in the NIV. Verse 33 says, but seek first his kingdom, his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. He's not holding anything from you. We're withholding it because we just want to do our own thing. The prodigal son, hey, Dad, thanks. I'll take what's mine, and I'm out of here. Gone. Okay? Until he realized the world was beating him up. Yeah. Amen? And he was hanging out with the pigs. Mm. And then he says, you know, I could go to Father's house and do better than this. Yes. Yeah, but you know what? Father never gave up. I don't know how long he was gone. He was gone for a while. But every day, Father came to the to the to the, to the porch and looked out down the street, down the road, and see. He was anticipating. He had faith. Son is coming back. Mm -hmm. Son is coming back. So, fathers, parents, <laughs> be praying over your children. Amen. For them to do well. Amen. Amen. They're coming back. Train your children the way they should go when they're old. Then we'll depart from it. That's it. Amen. Lord, this is what your word says. I'm standing on your word. Mm -hmm. And brother, sister, or, or, or a son, daughter, they're going to do well. Mm -hmm. Because I've kept them uh, in, in prayer. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. And verse 34 says this. Listen. Verse 34. We never hear one ever read 34. But it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about tomorrow. Why? For tomorrow will worry about itself. It says, for each day has enough trouble of its own. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Every day, Jesus. you can have victory because mm -hmm. I'm walking with him. Mm -hmm. I'm putting myself in him, seeking him first. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I strengthen myself before I go out my house. Yeah. Or your car. You know, I pray before driving the word. 
And I'm I'm strong in him because as soon as you hit that pavement mm. or as soon as you go out the door, the enemy is going to be busy. He's going to send some distractions your way. He's going to send somebody to cross you the wrong way. Oh, yeah. But what's going to come out of you? Mm -hmm. What are you going to say? How are you going to react? Mm -hmm. You got to go in first. Mm -hmm. What's the word God tells me to do? You know. Before I knew, I would just fly out of it, you know. Speak and tell them how. Give them a peace, you know. No. Remember, death and life are the power of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful because all that's coming back to you. That's it. Woo! Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Still love, Pastor? <laughs> it says, uh, Pro, uh, Psalms 118, 24 says, This, I'm going to read it. I'm going to personalize it. This is the new day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and yes. be glad in it. Well, it says, We. It depends on what translation you're reading. Mm -hmm. It says, We will rejoice and be glad in it. But you don't understand. I got some priorities, man. I got some things at work. I got some things I have to do. Mm -hmm. But it says, this is a new day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You know what? Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. I'm here to serve you. Whatever is out there waiting, Lord, I thank you that greater is he that is in me. You're greater in me than he that is in the world. Or whatever storms are out there, whatever giants, whatever problems are out there waiting on me. Greater are you, Lord. And thank you that I can do all things through you. And you prepare yourselves before you go. Otherwise, you're making, you're compounding the problem because <laughs> they're going to let you know something and you're going to accept it and you're going to agree with them. And you're just going to be down and that's it. You know, you can change this. Okay, you can change this. Uh, passionate about a new day to serve. Be passionate about a new day to serve. Be passionate, excited about God using you. Lord, what can I do for you today? Yes. How can I help you today, Lord? Yeah. How can I uh, uh, serve you today? Amen. Be, be excited. You know, He woke you up. He gave you a wake up call and you woke up. So yeah. He wants you to be about the Father's business and do yeah. something for Him. He, don't, he just didn't wake you up so you can lay there and say, Well, it's not time. Go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, <dear. All> right. <laughs> I'm not ready. 2 Corinthians 5 17, we just read this, but it says, Therefore, if any of anyone, that's me, that's you, mm -hmm. personalize it. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. New creation. Old things have passed away. Yes. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. But you know, the enemy, when I say enemy, you know I'm talking about the devil. Yeah. <laughs> the, the devil and his people and those that he uses, if they're not for Christ, he's using them. Mm -hmm. And they're going to remind you of your past. Mm -hmm. Or you think you're a Christian now. Or you think you're this and that. Yeah. And they're going to remind you, says, you're no good. Mm -hmm. We know you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because they see the same person. They see the same body. They see the physical body. Physical body. Mm -hmm. They don't see the new birth in you. That's it. You've been born again on the inside. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. I'm going to start reading. I'm going to start studying. I'm going to start confessing the word. And all new things. And guess what? He's going to take away the old. Mm -hmm. And new is coming around you. The new is coming around you. Amen. He's going to send new friends. New, new things around you. And uh, we ain't going to get too far with this. Uh, just to let you know Matthew 20 and 28 says this that the son of man didn't come to be served he came to serve mm -hmm. our greatest example if mm -hmm. Jesus can serve so can we mm -hmm. but you know we just make it upon ourselves you know just isolate ourselves and take care of me myself I no no you need people you need people Amen. He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. When he says go into all the world, it didn't mean to go across or overseas. All the world around you means where you live, mm -hmm. where you shop, okay? Where you work, yes. okay? He says, go into all the world and minister the gospel to all these people. Tell them about the good news. Yes. Amen. And you know, let your light shine for Jesus. 
Amen. <laughs> Praise God. But we can do it. He says, the Son of Man didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give his life, listen, a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. That's us. He was sacrificed. Yes. Amen. So, and one more thing is, <laughs> you don't belong to yourself. You no. belong to him. Yes, <laughs> Whether you know it or not. If you didn't know it, now you know. <laughs> you, know. you belong to him. So it's about time you say, Lord, come into my life. I want to dedicate myself back to you and give myself back to you and do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, Ma uh, Mark uh, 10 45 is basically the same thing. It says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom for many. Yes. Amen. And I was talking to you about this a few minutes ago, but Colossians 3, 23 and 24, it says, And whatsoever you do, do it hardly as unto the Lord and not unto men. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourselves. When you prepare yourself, I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. I'm going wherever you happen to be going. Lord, I'm doing this unto you and not unto men. Amen. I'm not a man pleaser. I'm a God pleaser. Amen. God's going to see your faithfulness. God's going to see your commitment. And God is going to see your faithfulness. And God is going to promote you. Amen. Regardless of what man does. Okay. God is going to promote you. The bigger and better things. Matthew 6.10 it says this. For God is not unjust to forget uh, your works and labor of love. Which you have uh, shown towards his, his name. Mm -hmm. If that's you. Have it in that you have ministered to saints. Mm -hmm. And you do minister. God's not going to forget about you. Mm -hmm. Just like we do, we forget about him. When things are going good, you know, we put him on the side. <laughs> when things are going bad, all of a sudden we bring him out. You know, like 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 like, like the uh, uh Matthew, that was uh, Matthew six ten. Okay. Just like a like a spare tire, you know. It's there. We know it's there, Lord. We know you're there, and we'll take it out if we have problems. So we'll take out God. Okay, God. Yes. That's Hebrews 16. Yeah, that, that's what I said. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Hebrews Hebrew 16. <laughs> I've got I got Hebrews 16 right here. So I uh, stand corrected. But I've got uh, Hebrews 16 on the uh, New King James. For God is not just to forget your work and labor and love, which you have shown towards his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. And uh, Ephesians 6, 7, and 8 is this. New Living Translation says, Work with enthusiasm as though you was working for the Lord rather than for oh, people. Man. Many times. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you get in, into a hard job or doing something hard, even if it's easy. Mm -hmm. It says, Work it, uh, with enthusiasm. You know, mm -hmm. when I approach a job, if it's bad, if it's hard, it's okay. I'm enthused, Lord, because I'm doing it under you. <laughs> I'm not sad because nobody's watching. I'm not sad if nobody comes and says anything to me. I'm excited because, Lord, I'm doing this under you. And guess what? When I'm doing it under him, I'm going to do my best. And I'm not going to try to hide and cut corners. <laughs> I'm going to do it all under him. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have opportunities to take things. Mm -hmm. Or say steal. <laughs> but we don't. I don't. Amen. I just move things around and do my best. Because I know he's watching. <laughs> so with enthusiasm. Working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward you. Each of us. For the good we do. Whether we are slaves or free. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you may mark this down. I know. Uh, Romans 12, 11. This will be our last one. Romans 12, 11, New Living, Trans uh, New Living Version says this. Don't be lazy, but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a, a heart full of love, passionately for Him. No slack. We love the world or all things more than we love God. Lord, I'm doing this again. We're doing this under you. Don't be lazy about it. That's it. I guarantee you, if Jesus would have been lazy, he would not have gone to the cross. Mm -hmm. 
Again, he went to the Father. Lord, Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he was human. He born human. So I'm sure he wanted to take some time off and say, I don't want to do this. Just like us. You know, your flesh. Remember your three, three being. Spirit, soul, mm -hmm. and you live in a body. Mm -hmm. So you have some physical parts on you. <laughs> But your spirit, man, you feed the Word of God. Your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions, you renew with the Word of God. And your flesh, you crucify. Because mm -hmm. the flesh wants comfy, comfy, no. lazy, lazy all the time. Mm -hmm. And we got to say, hey, we got to tell you the book of says, uh-uh. You got to get busy. It says, don't be lazy, but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a heart full of love. Full of compassion, yes. full of commitment. Yes. Amen. Faithfully. Faithfully. Don't let Satan or anyone hold it against you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't let any of them stop you either. Yes. <laughs> it says get passionate about the new day God has given you. Yes. He's given us a new day. The weather conditions outside, the problems circumstances is not going to stop me from enjoying this beautiful day he's given me. Yeah. Amen. Greater is he that sent me than he that's in the world. Yeah. So whether it's raining, snowing, it's super hot, I still, I got something I need to do for God. And I'm going to do it passionately. And I'm going to rejoice. This is the day he's given me. And I'm going to be glad about it. And I'm going to rejoice about it. Amen. Amen. When you got the greater one in you, you're not going to be sad about these things. The only way you're going to be sad is if you're just in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You say, oh, man, I wanted to go do this. I wanted to go play. I wanted to go fish. I wanted to go whatever. Mm -hmm. So if you're passionate about the new things God wants to do in you and through you. Amen. He's the head and we're the body. Mm -hmm. Amen. If nobody ever told you this, you want to hear it now. <laughs> He's the head and we're his body, meaning we're the church. This building where we assemble ourselves together and come together is not the church. Mm -hmm. This is a building where we assemble ourselves together. We are the body of Christ. Believers, we are the body of Christ. We are his church. So I want you to hear that and understand that. Because if he's the head and we're the body, who is he going to use? He's going to use his body. Us. Every one of us. If you're born again and you've accepted Christ, then you're in the body of Christ. And he wants you to be busy about his, you know, his business. Yes. Get busy and not be lazy. Amen. So praise Amen. God. We're going to close there. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Those of you that are watching. If you never accepted Christ, it's time. You know, quit putting it off. This is the day. This is the day. The day is the day. Quit running. Quit hiding. You can't hide from him anyway. Yeah. And he knows you better than anybody else. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So it's time to say, it's time for me to come home. Mm -hmm. This is the right time. I don't care how long you've been running. But this is the right time. He ain't forgot about you. We forgot about him. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. And start serving. Start getting in the Word. Start reading the Word. Get in a Bible-based church where you can grow and learn. And meet new Christians, new believers. Amen. Where we can assemble ourselves together and come and encourage one another before we go out into the world. Amen. So let's remember that if you have sickness in your body, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you are healed. So you know what? You hear all kinds of reports. I just went to the doctor. No. And they gave you all kinds of reports. No. You know what? But whose report is you going to believe? Mm -hmm. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. What does he say? By Jesus Christ, I'm standing on. By his stripes, I'm healed. And if I have to, I'll put my hands on me and say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Any malfunctions in this body, I call them well in Jesus' name. No more malfunctions. I want everything working the way God created it to work. So body, I'm speaking in my body. Line up with the word of God and be healed. Function normal. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that and stand on the word and read about it, you know. But confess the word and not yes. the problem. Exactly. Amen. Amen. And stand on his report, not yes. what somebody else says. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. Time to give. Watching, listening. Time to give your tithes and offerings. So you know, go to our website. It should be on the screen there. NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And uh, Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. So praise God. Amen. Yeah.